not too far away. Where else needs searching? There's a few areas down there. You know what? Good enough. So everything's been searched. If we just pause right now, three hours time, we will get a new bunch of people, which is very good to see. If we go to there, this is actually, we don't need to, we can have it on in the background still. Just keep moving. Have something to look at, you know, visuals. Their hygiene right now is not fantastic. I imagine it's because these showers are very small over there. I'm kind of thinking of having the two rooms that we have right here, being this one and the one down here, be a new shower room, just because I think some of them can't actually do much in here. It's also very dirty. I've just realized this. Let's hire us some new cleaning staff. Let's see. We've got some cleaners right here. Or oh, janitors. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We've just... We've extended the prison here, here. In fact, this entire section right here. Without actually buying new janitors. We do have a bunch of them working to clean, though. But I think it's a good idea just to have some passive cleaning in the background. While we wait for our work hours, which is when they actually start to clean. Here we are. We are nearly there when it comes to our prisoner's intake. Now, I was going to do something else, but I did completely forget. Oh, no. I, I did look at the needs. Just uh, need to have another overview. Family's a bit awkward right now, but their free time is coming up. Clothing is getting a bit high. I wonder if it took the clothing thing off again. Drugs and alcohol are a bit in the high mark right here. Spirituality is high. Late, uh, literacy. I was about to say latency there. <laughs> literacy. That would be very funny. Um, yeah. Is that ironic? Could we use that word wrong all the time? I, I sounds ironic. Mm. Anyway. Oh, what's that? It's nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't pay attention to my words. <laughs> Not too sure what I wanted to say there. I mean, words, obviously. It was part of it. Anyway, part of the equation. Which is what, well, well bleh, which was me saying words. There we go. I got there in the end, I feel. I'm worried about the prison area right here, to be honest with you. Expanding it into the yard area makes sense a little bit. It's just that we'll have to sort of cut the yard in half and then use that as sort of extended canteen area. But I still think that's not even going to be enough in itself. Let's go over here. Let's check the intake just to make sure we haven't got any death rows right here. Can't you only get 2,500 payment for a death row? What happens, though, is from what I've seen, uh, well, someone told me in the comments. I do, I, I can't remember your name. I do apologize. But someone said apparently you get 10 grand for a successful execution or you get a 50 grand penalty for a failed execution. Now, I can't remember what was the conditions or what the conditions were for a failed execution. Something tells me it was a, like a, we executed an innocent person, something like that. Or the execution was unjustified, being that they didn't kill anyone. I imagine it's stuff like that, small things. We will accept another 40 prisoners for the next day. We have got a few more of the visitors coming along here. They have a very easy way to get in and out of the shop. I very much enjoy that. Mm. So as you can see, we've got sort of a bunch of these lorries just sort of waiting around. I hate how they just stay there. I always wonder why. Why do they stay there? And there's always that one that just sort of hangs about. I mean, he's doing his own thing. More rubbish right here to get rid of. There we are. Dog apparently found something. The prisoners are apparently getting hungry, which makes sense. I'm not sure what time it is. But it's quite a while until feeding time. But I imagine that they can't be too high on the needs when it comes to food. No, their food is fine. I'm not sure why it just came up as red there. I guess they're they're hungry now. So that's that makes sense. Oh, yeah, let's look at their clothing. Because it may have taken itself off of the list or selection. Yep, it did. It took itself off again from the main prison. And also, this main prison is no longer Supermax. Uh, well, Maxsec for some reason. It's done that multiple times. I'm not too sure why it keeps doing it. Maximum, maximum. Parole can be for anyone. Right, let's do that. And let's go back to the laundromat. And have it connect to the main prison. There we are. It doesn't disconnect for this one. But I don't want this one to just do that prison. Uh, well, that prison block. Because there's quite a few you know, people in there. Like doing a lot of work just for a very small area. It doesn't make any sense. Good thing to see though is that we have quite a few of these Mega Max people. More clothes are being thrown around as well, which is nice to see. 
A lot of people are being quite spiritual again. Very nice. Oh, look. This is, is this the alcohol or the drug abuse? Let's pause right now. I like this. It's very nice to see. This guy's talking about clothing. They're all talking about clothing. Yeah. Clothing was getting a bit high, but that's going to be dealt with soon enough. So I don't want to worry about that too much. Comfort is probably being put up a little bit more because of the lack of clothing. Or clean clothing. So that's fine. If we go to programs right here, let's just make sure this is actually the alcohol abuse. Yep, alcoholic group therapy. The leavening queue. And most of them are in there. I think they're all in there. How long is the course? It doesn't say. Oh, no. 10 sessions. Okay, so 10 sessions, 2 hours. So 10 days, and then hopefully most of them won't have uh, alcohol issues. As you can see, we do have a little bit of a need for alcohol right now. Just a little bit of a high need. Something tells me that all the high needs are the ones that are currently in the therapy. This guy's just sort of here looking at the floor. Just sort of being like, well, I do in my life. Why'd I kill you, Kelly? Why'd I kill you, Kelly? Why, Kelly? Why'd you do that to him, Kelly? What's your name? Felix Brown. Okay, he, he beat... Oh, you're nearly you're nearly served all your time. You've got like a year and four months left. Well, not necessarily. Like, because that's 9.6 years, which doesn't make sense in my mind, because it should be like 9.12. Well, 9.12, and then it'll be like 10.0. That would make sense. But I'm not sure if every point indicates a month. But I imagine it's going to be 9.9, .9 and then it'll be 10 years, if that makes sense. I'm looking at the bomb pile right here, which would mean that every point was like one month and uh, one month and two weeks, I imagine. It makes sense in my mind. I'm not too sure. Actually, it would be less than that, like one month, one week. Sure. Even less than that. Even though it'd be like one week, six days. <laughs> sure. One month, six days, I mean. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> a little bit of a rant right there. It's the system. Why? Right, anyway. Mm. Ah, here we go. Here's the new scum. So we do have a prop. Oh, wow. Hold on a second. We should really check through the new roster. Let's see. We got J. Mr. Meat Barker. Why do they call you Mr. Meat? Oh, because murder. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, what what are your downsides? You're suppressed. You don't really have anything else to you by the looks of it. Unknown e uh, reputation. Wait, let's go to the intelligence. Information. Most of you... Ooh! Ex-prison guards! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to send him to protective custody. Finally! So we got ex-prison guard. Anyone else? Or is it just going to be you that we're going to be feeding? I hope we find more people because it looks like he's the only one. So we got an ex-prison guard who's also Stokel. You are a very nice looking uh, lady right there. I do appreciate your time in the prison. I would watch how much these scum. I'm not going to lie. Also, it looks like one of the guys probably left, I guess. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> it's, always, it's always sad to see him go. But at the same time, it's nice. I feel like we made a good prison when everyone is like leaving it. <clears throat> on parole successfully without reoffending. Now we've also got this uh, guy right here who is Ross Flame something lifts chin. He lifts chin. He doesn't have a chin, so I'm not sure what's going on there. He just doesn't have a chin. If we really just thought of this now, <laughs> this is like a life thing right now. We've seen this and we realize that not only does he have a chin, but he's got an outline. Now, if anyone could just look at their hands right now, do you have an outline? I'm looking really, really deeply now, and I don't think I have an outline. If you look, if you put your hand to your face, and then get your friend to hit you in the face and laugh at you, but laugh, but have your friend laugh at you for me, because ha 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 ha, you hit yourself in the face with your own hand. Right. Anyway, and you get away from all that. At the same time, though, if you put it to the wall, there's no outline there. So let's just realise the fact that everyone in here has got some sort of outline disease. <laughs> There's always a catch, ladies and gentlemen. However, 108 years! Burglary, burglary, armed robbery, aggravated burglary, armed burglary, uh, armed burglary, perjury, armed robbery, robbery. So he's got normal robbery and then just... Uh, wait. So 20 years for armed robbery. Okay, 25 years for murder. I was going to say, like, don't get me wrong, robbing, not something I condone. But you only get five extra years for murder. <laughs> I think murder's a lot more serious than robbery. Robbery's bad, but come on. Come on now. Come on now. It should be a life sentence in 25 years. It probably is, but there you go. 
We will uh, we will say how it is. That is how it is. Right, so you, I I just don't trust. Oh, Merv, you're right. Okay. Oh, okay, there you go. He's under the desk right now. He's on my leg. He just sort of hangs out there because I guess it's dark or something. But he, he pinched me and I twitched and I think he hit his head. He looks all right. Yeah. I think he hit his head. You are right, Merv? Oh, do you hit your head? He's pretty docile. That's fine. That is fine, unless that is an indication of a brain hemorrhage. Which, which hopefully it isn't. Age 51. Yeah, you're going to be here until the day you uh, you die, Ross. There you are. Then we got all these ran uh, random guys. we got Sean right here, Richard, Jim. Oh, wow. Slappy the Clown. Murder, or attempted murder, and then manslaughter. Okay. Sure. Uh, Sean again. Warren. Dan. Dog. John. Paul, Duncan, Sean again. You know, all these fantastic names. Steph, Jaco, Austin, John, Mark, Adam, Ian, Stone Man, Matt, Ashton, Andrew, Tom, Tired, Christopher, Rusty. Right, so what we'll do is we'll save. Uh, we'll save right here. Because this is the only way that our guards actually send them to their new cells. Mm, only send them to their new cells is if we do restart. And let's just double check to make sure that our logistics are fine. The laundry should be working. Yep, it is. And let's also make sure that our deployment is good. Yes, it in, in fact is, which is very nice to see. Now, as you can see, we don't really have any workers over here. I'm not too sure why. But we do have a new person, which means we need to go get ourselves a new sort of roster of guards. So, unfortunately, one person does mean that we have to pay attention now, which really annoys me, because that's quite an expensive thing to do. I have two guards on this line. Uh, we've got a bunch of guards around here, so that is fine. It shouldn't really be something that we pay too much attention to, but for now, it's going to have to be. And it makes sense. I'm just glad we get to start it, to be honest. Let's buy a bunch of these guards. We nearly have 200 grand. Can you, ima can you believe that? That's fantastic. Can you imagine that? I was about to say, can you believe can you imagine the possibilities? They are infinite, apparently. How many people on parole? 70 still. It was 77 before, I believe. So that's not really too bad. 40 new prisoners tomorrow. Let's just double make sure. Well, let's just doubly make a sure that we have no system or uh, no death row guys coming in. As you can see, though, we have some death row blocks. Let's make sure the deployment here is good. Oh, no. That's not death row. Is that because of the doors? Hey, what are you doing in here? Why are the doors open? You know what? I don't care. It should be death row only. Get this mug out of here. Search him. I never thought that. I never knew they went, Hey! Hey, man. That's not cool. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That's not cool. Anyway. Well, we'll continue onwards. We basically want to double the workshop right here. So what we'll do is we'll go along. And we'll probably have to make a secondary entrance to the workshop. Which might mean we have to cut this bit up and make it a doorway. That's fine. We can do it. Just be the same as what we've done here. But a, a secondary area. Since we'll probably end up buying this place and this place in order to get more extensions to our prison. What we'll do is it'll only be the top half that actually has a, an extension to our prison. It probably won't be the entire area. It'll probably just be sort of a little bit along here. And the same on the other side. Not going out too much, but it does... It'll make it look like an extension. If anything, it might just be sort of be the halfway point along here that's connected to these two walkways, as you can see. Actually, just the, that one and that one by the looks of it. And the same on this side. Just that one and that one. So probably just this bit. Yeah, I like the idea of that. I just think it would look nicer. There we go. So, yes. That would be pretty fantastic. Right, so all the guys are sort of waiting around. They're going through the checks. But they're, they're being given the uniform. They've Most of them have been given the uniform. Our ex-cop right here, ex-guard, sort of, you know, doing his own thing, writing down his paperwork. Bit scared. We've lost blind of sight. This is when he's, like, blood on the floor and he's dead. Oh, okay, still alive. Yeah, we'll need you to be in protective custody, good man. Looks like the prison area right here is being looked after. 
And there's so much food in here. Why is there so much food? Huh. That's not good. I'm worried now. Can we not lower the intake of whatever, whatever this kitchen has? This isn't good for us. It's not good because for some reason all the food's being thrown in here, which makes me think it's n we're not getting... I know we're getting a bunch of food in, food in here. I'm not just sure then. That's a bit strange. However, we are cleaning up quite a few of these, which is nice to see. We'll go ahead and get a gar uh, chef in here. So, there we go. Oh, no, he's going in that direction. Oh, no, he's going up there. Copyright. There we go. That's as far as I can go, ladies and gentlemen. That is literally as far as I can go. The chef is making his way all the way to the other kitchen. Oh, okay, then. Something tells, tells me this is the kind of game that will only accept one kitchen. Which I'm not too happy about, <laughs> to be honest. Wait, why is this... Should be staff only. Oh, no, it is staff only. Okay, I was a bit confused there. So where's our uh, other guy? Okay, so this is protective only. He's just sort of waiting in here with the rest of them. It looks like it. He's trying to do something to the camera there. Let's keep our eye open. This guy's quite smelly. Makes sense. Let's go to our intelligence. Really weird to see a yellow person there. That's, that's, that sounded a bit... Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that at all. Ooh, you're strong, stoke, and fearless. Anyone with free traits is worthy of the supermax. Get in there. Your days are over, and they're numbered. So your your suspicion, no, you're suspicious. I mean, let's go ahead and get you into the area since you seem to be the only one that actually does. Oh, here we go. Aha! Okay, okay, okay. Then that sounded really weird. <laughs> so there's a pickaxe right there, which makes me believe. Someone might be mining their way to victory. There's another one right here as well. So, so how do we do this again? Do we just sort of click? Oh no, we, we search the cell, don't we? Yeah, so if we go over here. Search cell. And search him. We want to do the same down here. But just the two of them. Just the tip. And then that should be enough. We might want to get one more. I think one more sounds... Oh, there's a knife in here, apparently. We c so we can actually see all contraband. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, there's just pills in there. So that's being searched. His cell block is also being searched. Let's get a dog in there. So we found a pickaxe. Where's, the where's our dogs? They should be sort of randomly uh, roaming around the prison. There we go. Let's get the K9 unit down here. Uh, where is it? Okay, can't. I guess that's because he's on he's, he's on patrol or something. Okay, that's fine. I'll keep my eye open. I'll keep it open. All right, as for our prison guy, um, we should make him no longer active since I think it'll be a bit awkward. I can't remember where I'm going. I'm not going to lie. I, I think it's intelligence information. There we go. Deactivate him. You have been deactivated. So let's see what we got right here. We got the... Have we got any ex-cops? Or anyone that fits that sort of criteria? Oh, here we go. Strong, fearless, and instigator. You right there, my friend. Are about to go into the slammer. Well, the bigger slammer. Like, the, a slightly more intimidating slammer. You're already in the slammer. You're in the doghouse, but you're not in the dog doghouse. And that's a pretty good doghouse. It's full of dog food. I wouldn't eat it, but I would. Because if you don't, you, are, you won't survive. This is also a deadly and a skilled fighter. Aggravated assault. Your, your time's nearly up. Actually, do we just click on you before? We did. 
It's back to you, Felix Brown. What are the odds of that? It's like 271 prisoners here, and we just end up clicking on you again. Very strange. Very strange. These are odd times. Very, very odd times.